Trans-Neptunian objects, or TNOs for short, are icy small bodies that orbit the Sun in the outer solar system beyond Neptune. They're the leftovers of planet formation, and their orbits tell us about how the giant planets rearranged themselves after they formed. Some TNOs orbit the Sun in sync with Neptune, or what we call in resonance with the planet. They are essentially doing a gravitational dance, where they trace out repeated patterns relative to Neptune. Because of this dance, these objects pr uh, provide really important clues to how Neptune got to its present-day orbit. The Large Inclination Distant Object Survey, or LIDO for short, just discovered a new object that is now the most distant confirmed resonant TNO. It orbits the Sun just once for every 10 Neptune orbits, at an average distance of about 140 times the Earth-Sun distance. One special thing about this newly discovered resonant TNO is that its orbit is highly tilted relative to the plane of the planets. Now, high inclination TNOs have been discovered before, but they're not very common in the known population because prior observational searches tended to focus close to the plane of the planets. When we looked at the long-term orbital evolution of this new object, we found that its gravitational dance with Neptune was not what we expected. Normally, resonant TNOs prefer to be aligned away from Neptune when they make their closest approach to the Sun. But this object's large inclination allows it to surprisingly sometimes prefer an aligned configuration. Beyond being fun to think about for people who do orbital dynamics like me, this means that the upcoming All-Sky LSST survey from the Vera Rubin Observatory might find resonant TNOs in parts of the sky where we were not expecting to see them.